That reality means that as parents send their kids to school, they're now thinking of ways to keep them safe there. And there's a growing industry to help them. Lockdown drill right now. If this was your classroom, this is the only door in and out, where would your teacher have you go and go there now? Go, go, just go. This is a class for kids as young as eight years old called School Safe. It's run by 88 Tactical, a private company in Omaha, Nebraska. It's meant to supplement the lockdown drills, which are now conducted in nine out of 10 public schools across the country. What are these representing to us? Desks. Desks? We have a shelf. What does your teacher tell you to do? You stay quiet until the bad guy leaves or um, we run out of the room. Okay, what if the gun shooter comes in your classroom? If somebody came in that door right now and pointed a gun in this direction, do we know that that desk is going to help out? No. So what would we what would we do if someone's pointing a gun in this direction? Over the course of two and a half hours, the kids learn different self-defense strategies based on the run, hide, fight model. We're going to run away from the bad guy. Are you guys ready? OK, you better get away from me. The instructor is a retired police sergeant and believes that kids need more preparation to evade and even fight off an attacker than they're currently getting in most schools. Go, 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 run. Find an exit! Find an exit! Go, 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 go! We're not trying to scare them. We're not trying to turn them into uh, SWAT commanders or anything like that. It's just to give them some information and give them some strategies so if something were to happen in their little part of the world, they would have an idea of what to do. I'm just going to come in with my hands open like this, like a catcher, and I'm just going to come in and grab this here and hang on tight, all right? Somebody come and get me here. What does that say about our effort to educate our children, that they are, in their minds, preparing to potentially be killed in their own school? I mean, as unlikely as it is, it doesn't feel that way to our kids. And we don't know how that's going to affect an entire generation. We, we have John Cox is a reporter for The Washington Post who's investigated the impact of gun violence on children, including the psychological toll of lockdown drills at schools. Someone has to get the gun. I'm shooting people right now. School shootings are no more common now than they were in the 1990s. And the likelihood of a child dying in one remains low. But after each mass shooting, the demand for schools and kids to be prepared goes up. So we know that lockdowns can be incredibly frightening. But should we not have the kid do the drill and then the day comes and they have no idea what to do? Uh, that's probably not a trade that parents or teachers would make. Go. Somebody go. That is the reality. Until we as a country uh, make some really significant changes to prevent the shootings from occurring in the first place. Bring it to your belt. Hang on. Hang on. We okay. talked about running, hiding, fighting. We haven't talked about giving aid. All right? This is just a brief little thing about fleeting control. And it'll work on kids your age. So tie one knot, boom, put the pencils in there. I was watching your presentation and I thought, like, that's some scary stuff to talk to kids about a woman getting shot in the knee and bleeding out in the mall. What, what do you think about that? Can you just talk about the idea of doing that? I believe our kids know about this kind of stuff. Mm. All right? And I don't believe. Uh, in a lot of respects that we give our kids credit enough for being able to handle what it is that needs to be talked about. And because of that, that's why we, we're very blunt. We're just very straightforward with them. It's going to hurt. And there's no other way about it. See that? <laughs> Anything in that presentation, was that scary or was it? I mean, I was shaking. <laughs> wow, really? Why? <laughs> because I was scared if it happened in real life. Now that you've done the training, how do you feel? I feel more confident about it. Mm -hmm.